Okay, question number two. Let's look at this question. Okay, this question asks us to find the directions in which the directional derivative of the given function at the point 2, 1 has the value of 2. Okay, it's a little bit wordy, so let's break it down a little bit. Um, so we're given this function, f of f, y, which is equal to x squared plus x times y cubed. And we're also given a point that has the value of 2, 1. Okay, so the question here is asking us to find, um, find the direction, which is the vector u, um, where or when, I guess, the directional, directional derivative, which is du um, of this function at the point is equal to 2. Okay, so a bit complex, so let's start with defining the, uh, what the directional derivative is, okay? So um, the directional derivative, directional derivative of any function is defined as du, where u here is in sort of like a subscript, um, oops, sorry. So the du of the function is equal to the gradient, which is gradient of the function dot the u vector. And the u vector is the unit vector. Okay? In this case. Um, let me check quickly. I think one of these is that one. So we're finding the direction, <laughs> not, I don't want you to get confused between what we're trying to find and the unit vector. Um, okay, and this is dot, so you'll see later, we are taking the dot product between the gradient of the function and the u vector, the unit vector. Okay, um, so gradient, let's write a definition for that as well so that we are clear on what we need to do. So the gradient, of a function, um, which is written like this, is defined as f of x, or f by x, that's a subscript here, um, to x, y, um, and f by y of x and y, so the function of x and y. So that notation here essentially means the partial derivative, okay, of the function. So I'm going to rewrite this so that maybe it's a little bit more clear. So we have the partial derivative of the function with respect to x in the first position of this vector. And in the second position of the vector, we have the partial derivative with respect to y, okay? So these are equivalent notations of the same thing, okay? Um, I'm just writing it twice so that it's also really clear. Okay, um, now that we have our definitions, we are ready to start working with the given function, okay? So let's start with finding the gradient first so that it can be um, simple. So we want to find the gradient of our given function. Um, we have gradient of our x of x will be the partial derivative. I'm just going to refer to, um, I have the given function and the point here. So instead of scrolling back up and down, 
so let's see what he's going to say. Okay, so oops, sorry, with respect to x, we have our function. So this is before evaluation. I'm just writing it out so that uh, every step of the way so that it's clear. Um, okay, so we have to take the partial derivative of the function with re both respect to x and y. So let's start with respect with respect to x. So the partial derivative, that means we're only focusing on this term and this, the x in this term, and treating the y as if it was a constant, okay? So the partial derivative would be 2x plus um, y cubed because, or y cubed, because if you're treating the y cubed as a constant, um, you can imagine it like 2x, the derivative of 2x would be just 2, or just a constant. Uh, hopefully that's clear. And then for the second part, we will take the uh, partial derivative with respect to y. So in the first term, since we don't have y, um, and we treat this term as if it was a constant, then the partial derivative or the derivative is just zero. And the second term, second part of the term, we are taking partial derivative. So uh, treating this x like a constant, we will leave it out front. So taking the derivative will bring the three down times x times y uh, squared, because remember, um, taking the derivative we want n or the exponent minus one. So in this case, it's three minus one, which is two. Hopefully that's clear. So now we have the gradient um, of our function. And remember, um, going back up here, what we want to find is um, the function evaluated at our given point, which is two, one, okay? So that means we will be taking the gradient at this uh, point. So that means we can sub in this right away, and we can sub in to our equation here for x and y are our twos and our ones, okay? I'll rewrite this so that it's two times two, this is x and this is y number, uh, plus y cubed, well that's one cubed, and then the second part, we have 3 times x, which is 2, and then y squared, which is 1 squared now. All right. Um, maybe simplifying, we have 4 plus 1 and 6, which is equal to 5 6. So now this gradient gives us a vector of 5 6. Okay, so now that we have this, uh, remember the entire equation that we have up here, we can start to sub things in. So we have the entire equation, we have the directional uh, derivative of our given function at the point t1 is equal to the gradient of the function at 2, 1 times, or dot the uh, unit vector, right? So we just found out what this is, so let's sub that in. We have 5, 6 dot, well, unit vector u. What is the unit vector? Uh, unit vector um, is equal to u times i, and i with this little hat is, is the, uh, well, if you think of x and y, sometimes it can be written as i and j, and these are the most fundamental uh, unit vectors, so just going, oops, this is a j, <laughs> going one step in the direction of, um, I wrote these in the wrong way. <laughs> if this is in the y direction, uh, j is in the y direction, and the i is in the x direction. So going one step in 
towards the x direction is the unit vector i, and going one step in the y direction is the unit vector j, um, which we don't really need to know since we're not plotting here, but just for some background information. So this is the unit vector. Unit vector. Okay, so let's put this in here through i through j. Um, so now what we have to do is take the dot product, okay? So I'm going to just write out the general definition of the dot product. So if we have two vectors, a dot b, and the unit vector a is represented with ax and ay, and then the unit vector b is made up of bx and by, then if you dot the two, you will get ax times bx plus ay times by, okay? So kind of like multiplying both x, um, both of the x uh, components and then both of the y components of each vector and adding them together. And you can get rid of the, um, the vector brackets because this gives you a scalar product, okay? So meaning no longer um, a vector in vector form. All right, uh, so going back to our directional vector, or directional derivative, sorry, so we have two, one, okay. So now we're gonna take the um, dot product of what I have written up here. So that means that the x component of the first vector is multiplied by the x component of the y. And oops, not like that. Um, plus the y component of each vector, which is six times u um, uh, j hat. Okay. Um, and remember, given in the question, we already know what this is, right? Uh, the directional derivative has the value 2, as it says in the question, and I wrote up here exactly, exactly this. So that means we can write b is equal to our expression plus 6uj hat. Okay, so now we have this. All we have to do now is find out what u is, okay? Um, u is our direction, and that's what we're looking for. So um, we will try to isolate for one of these terms, um, and that way we will be able to um, create our directional vector or direction. Okay, so let's isolate for this one specifically. So we have 5u i hat is equal to 2 minus 6uj hat. And then just dividing both sides by 5, we get u i hat is equal to 2 minus 6uj hat divided by uh, 5, as I said, dividing both sides by 5. So now we have one component of our u uh, direction, okay? So then finally, um, that's all we really need. We just need, so if we have um, a direction that's comprised of u i hat and u j hat, well, we just figured out what the u i hat is, right? And we have that it's equal to 2 minus 6uj hat divided by 5, and then the other component of this vector can just stay the same. Uh, and so that's all we need. And that is the final answer for the um, direction. That's the direction, or those are the directions in which the directional derivative, it has the value to. So basically, um, yeah, obviously the, the u can still be different values, but these are, this makes up the different values or the different directions that, um, 
the directional derivative have, has the value of 2. Okay, uh, then we see the solution. Um, we can see the bottom and the come to the same conclusion. We can say, okay, solution. And one here, okay. <laughs>